Hello, Chimicum 6th grade cohort C. I want to touch bases with you on uh, how you guys are doing on the introduction Pear Deck slide activity. So I just jumped ahead to the slide with the um, cohorts schedules. And by here, I mean, from this slide, I hope you notice you could change a few things like the color of your pen and the thickness of it. And you can also use a highlighter text tool line tool and erase this was basically for you to know all right on the sixth grade schedule where the cohort sees so we've got pretty consistent 9 a.m check-ins every day with mr brennan and then you can schedule the rest of your day with whatever works for your family and wednesdays know that you are not alone all three cohorts are working at home remotely and this is a sample schedule. There's a class craft quest that's going to give you uh, this exact schedule on a Google Sheet where you can change the times yourself to whatever fits. Really, we just want to make sure you schedule time in your day to have work time, break, work time, break. And the breaks could be anything, but they should include some, some kind of exercise when the air quality is good. Um, then your lunch time, and and we put in there something that sixth graders really enjoyed last year was build in some creative time to either do create some art or create some you know design games, build and design things with your hands. Creative time is awesome because you want to access that part of your brain too. And then just the fact that if you're turning in work for at least one of your classes every day, we know you're working and you're engaged and it builds good study habits for you. And what I wanted you to do was put the check mark on something that you got this, you do it. Oh yeah, check, I do creative time. The star goes on something you really like. Oh yeah, I love walking and running outside. Something you love. Oh yeah, I love spending time in the evening with my family. And then the flag next to something that's challenging. Maybe waking up in the morning is challenging for you. So you got to work on that. Uh, so if you want to go back into the pear deck, you can back up to this slide and change it in case you weren't sure what they meant. See, when I built this slide, it was easier with my students being in front of me. And you guys, you couldn't hear me explain the slides. And this slide shows how I envision my classroom because I like to mix in science fiction and fantasy within our science because I know that looking to the future, the science fiction of today could be the new discoveries of the future. And Star Trek was responsible for a lot of discoveries that were made, things that were science fiction when Star Trek was first uh, airing in the 1960s are science fact now. So I want my students to use their imagination. Now this slide is true. Chimicum sixth graders are ocean guardian school students. And that's because of the environmental stewardship project we do every year. So with these, hopefully you got your packet and you shared it. So I'm clicking that. Uh, this is our first mission aboard the Starship Equinox was to the planet Akali. See the starship there orbiting the planet. And when we beamed down, we found out we beamed onto a planet with with zombies. And this happy zombie zomb zombie zombie apocalypse day is starring Chimicum Elementary sixth grade students. So I want to know if you love zombies, if you love playing games, or if you're just gonna give it a chance because you're like, hey, let's see what this is all about. Plus, that's a great attitude to have. If we ask you to do something and you're like, well, I don't know give it a shot. You might end up loving it. And I had to give credit to who I bought the game from. The Happy Zombie Apocalypse Day game was created by a teacher, Eric Nelson, and the artwork by Gergana Zmijerova. Cool name, and I love her artwork. Now, I had a, lot of, uh, a few questions from some of you. I don't see a question. What do I write in this text box? A lot of you figured it out. You just wrote about what you read on the slide. 
you figured it out. And, and that was really cool to see that you guys, some of you, figured it out on your own. And this is how sixth graders are learning to take notes. So you read this and you're like, CDC stands for the Centers for Disease Control. And they help keep Americans, Americans healthy and safe from diseases. And if you watch the news or listen to the news, you've probably heard CDC a lot because in real life, we're in a global pandemic. It's not just on this planet, Akali. It's kind of weird how we're playing a zombie game about a global pandemic on a faraway planet, and we've got our own. Luckily, people don't turn to zombies. We can cure this one. Now, this slide had a bunch of questions, so this one was probably easy for you. And the zombies we're focusing on in this game are the ones who become zombies from infectious pathogens. So you can write about how zombies become zombies in the movies. In case you're not familiar with zombies, if you're playing a game about zombies, it helps to learn about them. And then share your opinions on do zombies or the infected with a zombie virus have human rights. And I'm curious. I want to see what you think. Now, this next one was a perfect video. I hope you saw it. Because I found a video of a Star Trek animated show where somebody brought a zombie virus back to their ship. This is what we want to avoid on our Equinox starship. So we're staying on the planet. And then this video explained class craft. And this one was the rules that we follow, especially for those of you at home. And you could just check them off saying, oh yeah, I got these rules. I do them all the time. And I'm familiar with them because I've been in school for many, many years. At least since kindergarten, right? Maybe even preschool. And here's where I mix the fantasy of Classcraft with the science fiction of Star Trek. Those of you who picked Guardians, you're like the Star Trek commanding officers. So you're kind of in charge of your teammates when you're doing group projects. And the mages, you're like the engineers, because mages work with energy, action points, AP, Engineers do too, and they build things, and, and they solve problems by designing solutions. Booyah. And the healers, it made sense. You're the medical officers. Live long and prosper, say the Vulcans, like Mr. Spock. That's Mr. Spock there. And you're also science officers, and science answers questions about how the world works. So you already picked these. And a few of you haven't signed up for Classcraft yet, so you're going to pick that. Uh, you're going to pick one of your characters. And you've got big teams, which is good because you can help each other. You've already signed up for Google Classroom. So, yeah, this slide was a great, great lessons I learned from watching uh, the behind the scenes of The Mandalorian. How many of you saw The Mandalorian? Star Wars, right? For those of you who don't know, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a great show, but you have to watch it on the Disney uh, app or the Disney channel. And it, you know, it's subscription based. But you watch the video and then you write what you learned here. And some of you did that. You shared some great uh, uh, ideas that you got from watching that video. And then this kind of gives you a little background about our zombie game. So you're taking notes here. And the same thing with this one. And that's your introduction to the first thing we're going to do in sixth grade science. We're going to mix this zombie game with our Ocean Guardian school work. Uh, because we're going to gather water quality data on Chimicum Creek in cohorts A and B. And you guys are going to have access to that data. And it's just like we're doing it on the planet Akali, only trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. So there you have it in a nutshell, how this Pear Deck worked.